I've heard my dad tell stories about baseball all my life. Uh, he could remember ball strike counts in games that he played in the 40s. He didn't play pro ball, but he played city league and, and, and uh, amateur ball throughout the city. And so I would always hear those stories, and particularly about Sulphurdale, how unusual the park was, which would pique anyone's interest. I was beginning to get a little savvy with the internet, and typed in Sulphurdale in a search engine which, one time, and nothing came up. I mean, maybe one little reference to a newspaper article or something. So I bought the name Sulphurdale.com, uh, got a little bit uh, of help with a template on a website, People would write me and tell me what they remembered about the ballpark, and then they would send me a photograph, or I would research at the archives and find a photograph, post it there, and it kind of it kind of snowballed from there. And I would have people write me and say, "Well, my grandfather would really like to know more information, but he can't get on the internet." So that's where the idea of the book came about, and that was published in March of 2007. It took a while to collect the images and things, maybe a year. So that's where that came from. Grantland Rice was the first to refer to a name change of the city's favorite baseball venue. Shortened to Sulphurdale in subsequent columns, the name was struck forever as the designation for the ballpark. It was a good fit for a newspaper headline and had an acceptable flamboyance. In February 1908, Rice held a contest with fans to give the Nashville Baseball Club an official team name. As usually, the team was referred to as being under the tutelage of its current manager, such as the Fisherman for Newt Fisher, who was the manager in the early 1900s, or the Dobbers when Johnny Dobbs was there, and the Finnites when Michael Finn was there. No nickname had been officially recognized. Three names were selected from which voters would choose their favorite, Rocks, Lime Rocks, or Volunteers, with the state capital located near the ballpark, and Tennessee being noted as the Volunteer State. Volunteers was the logical choice and was often shortened to Vols.